Hi, welcome to the seventh video. In this one, I'll be talking about replacing items in the list by creating a sort of a surface. So this is my Rhino screen, as you know. What I'll be doing basically is to start with um, defining a line, actually. So let's grab an X, Y, Z, which means the construct point component. Pull out a series in this one, like let's say on the X coordinates, we want to have you know, on each 10 meters, we want to have a surface, we want to have a line, uh, but this time let's say 15. Okay, or even more. And what I'll be doing, I'll be connect, copying this and pasting this, and I'll be using the same thing with the value of 25 in Y coordinates which will put my points here and it's too short so maybe better than 50 this seems about right so I just group this just group this as well and let's grab create the lines and putting these lines in so if I just love these curves I will have a surface and let's let's want let's say we want to have sort of a sort of using these curves and creating sort of a like a arc kind of or curvilinear geometries out of these lines and then reuse them as my surface how can i do that let's divide these curves into oops not this one let's divide these curves into 10 elements okay and by using these by creating an attractor point i want to move these points upwards and then reuse them as my curves how can i do that so if i grab a evaluate surface component if you remember from the previous videos this will give us a chance to use our md slider to move along and create a point and if i say if i say oops not this one i say reparameterize i'll be moving inside of this surface and using these curves or using these values slider values as my rotation not rotation sorry motion vector I can group this guy as and what I'll be doing I'll be using the distance component in between this one and this point right and I'll have different distances here as well and what I wanted to do is I wanted to move my points on Z direction by using this distance now what we are seeing is I have created this surface here and if I move this along you see my points sorry my points are moving but not my surface but if I create an interpolate curve in between you see and then if I love this I will have my curve I will have my surface in oh, but we cannot bluff these because they are on the different lists so if I say um, I flatten this since it's my last motion it's okay to say flatten this. but you see it's it's basically working one thing to focus here what we can do here is we can say negative and we can see that it works like this or we can just move these points as well like onto Z direction if I grab an addition component and then if I add this like 100 let's say it's happening addition undefined oh sorry I would be using Z here because this is a vector as well so if I pull this here, you see, I will have my surface going upwards based on my, based on my 
tractor here. Well, this is good, but what if I want to have the points, these points remaining the same or my anchors and the rest is moving? So how I can do that? In order to do so, let me, by the way, group these as well. Group these as well and group this as well. So what I need to do is I need to go to sets and replace items. So within these lists, if I select these points, points like if I grab a list item and then say item zero, all these items. And then if I connect these items, what this does, let me explain you. Replace items basically takes a list on this list, uses items, these items, and based on their indices, it just, since they're both zero, now you see my list has changed. These points are replaced with these. So if I connect this over here, what I'm seeing is I am creating the surface, but this time my starting points are always, always the same. I mean, you can do this with like with these kind of things, but obviously it's not the right, right sort of a good solution. You can do it by the endpoints. You can add all these in. Obviously, there are a bunch of ways to do this, but this is how you replace this list. And if I preview this all off, preview this all off, and maybe just wireframe of this. Okay. And maybe if I just render mode, you see, if you change this, your surface is moving all over the place by this motion. So that is, uh, again, that's pretty much what I have for this video. You can have this kind of a surface by using replace list. And we are at the end of another playlist and I'll see you in the next one.